Alright, hello guys, and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews. And today we're going to have a look at how you can set up a membership website. So, whether you want to have a full blown membership site or you need access to some areas of your website, this method will work for you. Now, all you need to do is to install one plugin, which is free, and you'll be up and running. So, this membership plugin will allow you to get paid to access content on your website. So, either a one off payment or a recurring payment. Right, so let's have a look at how we can do that. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So, let me show you the website we're going to work from. So, I went ahead and uh, installed a demo website here. As you can see, it's a website for selling courses. So, this could be video courses. You can restrict access to some pages, maybe some content, maybe it's a blog you have. Whichever reason it is, you can run a membership website by using these simple methods. I'm going to show you now and highlight in this tutorial. So for this, we go to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install one simple plugin. So we're going to plugins add new. And in the search box, so you want to search for paid memberships pro. And as you can see, this is the one the first one here showing up in our results. So, it is an excellent uh, plugin indeed, as you can see, over 100,000 plus active installations. So, this is a clear sign that this is really well rated and excellent to use. So, let's install this. All you have to do is simply click on install now. So, it's going to take a few seconds to do so, a few moments, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So, we are there now. And all we have to do now is to activate it. And as you can see, with all the list of our uh, plugins here. So, as you can see, it's page number for Pro, and it's actually installed and activated. So, let's go and check the settings. All we have to do is click on settings now. And as you can see, this is free to use. It's free up to you, but if you want, you can get a premium version, which will uh, provide you access to support and updates. So, this is basically the only difference between the paid and the premium one as, as far as I know. And as you can see, we have the three different types of members, orders, and reports. So these will be empty at the moment because there's no members that just suggest and we the same with orders and reports, obviously. And then we have our own settings for this plugin. And as you can see from here, we can create a membership level. So you can watch the video if you want. There's a free story online as well. So let's go ahead and create a new membership level. So maybe we want to create a bronze and silver and a uh, gold package. So let's start with bronze. Bronze plan. And then we can add a description here. So this is our bronze plan. Obviously, you will have something similar to this, but in an actual description. And then here, you're going to put the initial payment. So how much do you want to charge for this? So let's say we're going to charge $20. Now, the question is, is that a recurring subscription or is it one of If it's a recurring subscription, simply tick that box here, and then you decide how much is it afterwards, after that period of time, after one month, how much will it be? Will it be $20 every month, every week, every day, or every year? So it's really up to you to decide. Now, so let's say it's $20 every month. Let's keep it simple for now. So we go ahead with 20 and next month can be 20 as well. Or maybe you offer an initial registration only five. Let's say the first month will be five dollars, and then the consecutive ones will be twenty dollars afterwards. This could be an option as well. So let's say twenty dollars every month. And what's the billing cycle? Is this indefinite? So if it's indefinite, you just leave it blank. Or if you want to limit that to maybe a year, maximum one year, so then you can put 12 months in here, for instance. So this is your billing cycle. So the first initial payment will be five dollars, maybe as a trial, and if they carry on with the subscription, it will be twenty dollars every month for a period of 12 months. So I'm just going to remove this for now and just leave it as is, so which is fine as well. And now if you have a trial period, you can put this box here. So talk to add. A custom trial period. So, how much will the trial period be? Maybe you want to offer a special trial period for $1.99, let's say, for the first one subscription 
payment. So the initial payment will be different. So in this case, we might if you want to keep the initial payment to 20 here, and this is the trial billing amount of 199. Or maybe 499, you could put 499. Then after this, all you have to do is click save the level. And as you can see, we now have a bond plan. So if you don't want to copy this and do uh, all this, go through all the steps once more, all you can do is simply copy. And let's call this one silver plan. And this is our silver plan. Scroll down, and the silver plan will be more expensive. So maybe it is fifty dollars, and then fifty dollars. In the trial period, might be twenty four ninety nine or forty ninety nine. Let's say. Save level, and then we're going to copy this one again. And then we have a gold plan. Maybe capital letters. Gold plan. So this is the ultimate plan. And maybe you charge a hundred for this. Let's say a hundred. And then the trial period will be only twenty four ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, let's say. So save level. There you go. Now we have our three uh, membership plans set up properly. So we have 20, 50, and 100 depending on uh, what the visitors will select. So we have discount code here as well. As you can see, basically that's a coupon code that can use. So it's a nice marketing tool again to attract more uh, customers to your website. So, as you can see here, set up the membership pages. We look after that after. We'll take care of this in the next step. But first, let's create a discount code. So, as you can see, this is the code. So, you can put something absolutely random. It's up to you, really. It could be something simple. It could be something complicated. Well, let's say we go with something simple. Let's go with promo 25. And we have to put in the start date, date, and the expiry date. So let's start from today, from March the 4th, 2021. And let's say we want to run this for maybe six months. So one, two, three, four, five, six, up to up until September the 4th. So do you want to uh, limit the amount of users? So let's say the first 100 visitors using this promo code will get 25% off. Or maybe you want to leave it blank. If it's blank, it's for unlimited users. So anyone who has this promo code can actually use it. So which levels uh, will this code apply to? So if it's just the one, click on this one. If it's all of them, you have to apply it to all of them. So let's click on all of them for now. And then when you finish, just click save. And as you can see, we now have a promo code that's set up, promo 25. So now we have those two things set up. We have our levels, discount code, and now we're going to pages because this plugin requires its own pages to run properly. So we're going to pages now. And as you can see, several front end pages are required for your paid membership pro site. So create or uh, generate pages for me. If they be done automatically or create pages manually, I would highly advise you to click on the automatic version here, which is generate pages for me. So yes, please. Let's click on this. And as you can see, all these pages have been created for us now. So we have the account page, a billing page, a cancel, the account, confirm, invoice, level page, plugin, and membership profile edit page. So all of these have been done. The only one thing you have to do, please do not forget, is to click Save Settings. So that's it. We're all done now. And as you see, we have our payment gateway and SSL. From here, you can choose your payment gateway. So let's check out uh, which are available. So you can pay by check, yes, Stripe, you have PayPal, of course, authorized at net, bring to payment solution to check out inside their source. So to be honest, these are the main. Um, Payment gateways available in the market anyway, so you might want to select one of them. At the moment, I'm just going to uh, select testing only because we don't want to uh, actually run a real payment online for our testing solution here for the tutorial. So we're just going to leave it as is. But once you have been running, you select your own uh, payment gateway. So let's say if you want to select PayPal, and then you can put the gateway email account uh, that's linked to it. Uh, Stripe is the same. With Stripe, you have to enter your publicity, publicity and secret key as well. 
So let's keep it on the testing mode for now. And then you can select which class you want to accept as well. And you can see. So depending on where you are located in the world, you might want to select US dollars, maybe it is euros, or maybe it's pounds that you're using. So whichever it is, just select it here. And when you finish the game, don't forget save settings. So after that, we have email. And so in here, you're going to put your email address here. So I'm just going to put hello at Mr. And from name, so I'm going to put Mr. Rodriguez. And that's it, basically. Yeah. Very simple indeed. And in the advanced tab, uh, here you can block all users with the subscriber role from accessing the dashboard and all that. But I, I would highly recommend you to absolutely everything I do. It's absolutely fine. And let's go back to our website. So this is our homepage, as you can see, and we have a page with all the courses. So if you wanted to limit the access to this page, for instance, so I went ahead and created a, a, a demo page here, you know, with one of the, my videos. So if you wanted to limit, let's say, this page and have and have it uh, as a subscription, as a membership. So how do you go about this? So I'm going to say very, very simple. This uh, Paid membership pro plugin is absolutely 100% intuitive. So if you go to all pages, so this is our page that's called All Courses. So I'm going to look for All Courses, which is this one here. So if you click on this now and open that page to edit that page, and then you can see from here now we have actually in the corner here, and just let me highlight this, you can you have the required membership. So you can select bronze, silver, or gold. So how do we go about this? Just take those boxes if you want to, to be covered under those plans. And all you have to do basically is click update. And then after this, all uh, will be good. And now from here, if we go back to our courses page, click all courses. And you can see it presented with a message. This content is for bronze plan, silver plan, gold plan members only. To join now. If you click on join now, you have all the membership levels. You see the bronze plan, silver plan, gold plan. And you can proceed uh, to check out after this. So let's go back to this page. As you can see, it's not very nicely laid off. Actually, there's nothing a bit of a gap on top and at the bottom, maybe. So, how can we add a bit of spacing on top and bottom? Very simple. So, let's go back to our settings. So, we go back to our membership here settings and then advanced. And as you can see, this is the screen we saw before. This is the message we we, uh, we have actually. You know? So this is the message for not for logged in non members and we have logged out users as well. Both messages here. So this content is for levels members only and then a hitrest join now. So this is basically a hyperlink. So this is a bit of HTML coding we'll go through, but don't be afraid, I'm gonna walk it for this set. It's very easy to do. And as you can see, this is basically our message and our domain button. So what you want to do basically is to increase this size maybe a little bit, and then you're going to copy this code here. Let's see what it's. So control C, and then add a bit of space in here, and you're going to add maybe seven of them, and five of them here at the bottom. And now here we're going to have, add another code here. So open bracket H1. So this is for the bold heading. And we're going to put uh, membership required, and then you know, close our H1 tag. So that's basically that, that's all you have to do. So copy this one a few times, add this one here as a uh, title, and that's basically it. And now we're going to save this, and we're going to see a difference immediately. So you look a lot better. There you go. Membership required is continuous from bronze, prime. And so the plan and gold plan only, and you can join now. So, this is much easier to read in the for your visitors. Now, depending on how familiar you are with CSS coding, you can add a different div here, create a new div, and uh, uh, assign it a class. So, if you wanted to, you can create a class here immediately from here. It's not going to take any time in there, so this not a lot. So, this class, let's call this membership message. And then we close that div. Okay, so we've created that div now. Three seconds. And then if we look at this new inspect and refresh, so inspect this element here. 
And as you can see, we have a tremendous set message here. So now we can actually stabilize it. So we're going to add maybe a padding. Padding maybe we're going to add 80 pixels along it. Padding for 80 pixels. We're going to add a background color. Maybe a light gray on. I don't know. Let's put a different color here. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Let's find this. And we can see that's a lot better. So you could copy and paste this now. Control C and go to your uh, settings and change this appearance. Customize and add the custom CSS to your theme. And this is CSS and insert it in here. Publish. And then if we refresh our page now, it should take effect. So it's a lot, lot nicer indeed. Just by adding a few lines of CSS coding. So there you go, guys. Very nice like this, isn't it? So now let's go through the whole check on process and show you how you can actually handle and manage your subscriptions here. So I'll click join now. As you can see, we presented with different membership levels, bronze, silver, and gold, and your visitors can select any of them. So let's click select. And as you can see, we have to set up the payment gateway for. So let's go back to our settings quickly. So we're going to payment gateway. And we have to select one. So just for the sake of our uh, tutorial here, we're going to select pay by check because we won't require any card uh, details, obviously. You know, so it will allow us to go through the whole check process without entering any uh, payment details. Otherwise, if you have actually a PayPal account or Stripe account, you would select that here. So let's go back here and refresh. As you can see, now we can carry on with our membership. So submit and check out. Okay, so it's processing. And as you can see, our membership is confirmed. And we are now subscribed to a bronze plan. And my account is this one here, David underscore Gary at hello at mrwebreviews.com. And it's $20 and I'm paying by check. So as a customer, as a member, you can, I can view my membership account. So I'll click on this now. And this is my membership account. So now as the owner of the website from the back end, what you're going to do is go into the dashboard. And as you can see, that one sale today, one membership for $20. And this is the username here, view all members. If you click on this now, or you can click on members here, you have the bonus plan. So as you can see, we have David underscore Gary, a lot of the web reviews that point, the bonus plan, level one. $20 plus $20 per month, and there is no expiry date. It's unlimited because we left it blank in our settings in, in, initially. So, this is basically it. Now we have one new member on your website who's going to pay you a recurring payment of $20 every month. Now, as the owner of the website, you will receive a confirmation email, of course, so which is pretty handy. If you have access to your emails on your mobile phone, you might be out and about. And you might receive a notification as well. And you can see member check out for bronze plan at Mr. Web Reviews. And that comes up to pay by check. And you have the amount here and all that. So very nice indeed. And this one is a confirmation you may receive by your customers. So the member, the visitors who actually subscribe to your services and the membership confirmation for Mr. Web Reviews. So that's about the same, but one is for the owner of the website and one is for your customers. And then as a user, since I have a paid membership, if I go on all courses, I will have access, obviously, to all the content of that page now because I have a paid membership. So clearly I can access everything now, which is absolutely great. So there you go, guys. As you can see, this is a very practical way of setting up a membership website at no extra cost to you. Again, if you find this helpful, please consider giving